everyone, this is Brooke and we are in Ventura Parks School Garden. Today we are going to do a scavenger hunt and explore some things about the season we're in. Before we get started, I have a couple of questions. Does anybody know what month it is right now? That's right, it's October. So I'm going to write that down for us. It is October. And now, can we think about what season it is? There are four seasons and right now we are in the beginning of fall. So right now it is fall, my favorite season. Over here I have a tree that I drew and this tree is going through every season. So let's see if we can figure out which one's which. First, let's find fall on our tree things that happen in fall are the leaves start to fall. It's breezy. I think this looks like fall right here. So I'm going to label it fall. Next, we have some bare branches and some snowflakes. That's right, winter. Winter comes next. And up here, our tree has some little green things and some flowers. That looks like spring. Label that as spring. And there's one season left that's really green and sunny. Summer. That's right. So I will write down summer. So, like we decided, it is fall right now. And today we're going to be looking for signs of fall in the garden, in the neighborhood, wherever we are. So what are some things that we might see or hear or touch or smell in the fall? I've thought of wind as one of them. We might feel or hear the wind. I'll write that down. We might smell rain or wet leaves. We might hear some birds or squirrels. There's a lot of other things we might be able to sense in the fall and that's what we're going to be exploring today. So let's get started. All right, it is time for a mindful moment. What that means we're going to take some time to breathe and feel calm before we start our activity. So I gathered a couple of leaves and I'm going to do a leaf blowing exercise. So what I'm going to do is start with a really soft breath and try and see how far my leaf will go. Didn't move, but it wiggled a little bit. Now I'm going to take a really deep breath ah, and blew it right off my hand. So this is something you can try at home. So I have written down everything that's on our scavenger hunt for myself so I can mark it off as I go. And we're gonna start in the garden and then head to the park. So I have spotted something on our scavenger hunt already. This beautiful and enormous spider web. So I can check that off my list and get a good look at it. It's a big spider with lots of room to catch bugs. Now I'm going to get up and head over to find a pumpkin. And right here I have found quite a few. These are called spaghetti squash. And they're really pretty and yellow and round, just like pumpkins that we see at Halloween sometimes. All right, so let's head to the park. So I'm here in front of the school and I heard a really loud bird over here in the bushes. Let's see if we can hear it. So let's take a listen. I hear a crow. So I'm walking towards the park and I am walking across some rustling leaves. We listen, they're very crunchy. And under my feet, they make a really fun sound. I'm standing under this big oak tree and I looked up and there are some yellowing leaves here. They're 
really pretty about to fall off the tree. So I'm going to check that off my list. I just picked up off the ground a fallen leaf and I'm going to give it a smell. Sometimes when our fallen leaves get kind of wet, they smell a certain way. I breathe really deep, I can get a nice fall smell from this leaf. I'll show you close up. So also on our list is to touch some tree bark. So I'm gonna feel this tree bark. It feels very rough and hard. The tree is probably pretty old. I can feel some cracks in it too. Also on our list is to smell some fresh air. So let's take a big deep breath. <sighs> smells great. It's a very sunny day today in Portland, but sometimes in the fall here it's very rainy. So while you're on your walk, see if you can find some water droplets. I found a plant turning brown. This is a maple tree. The seeds and the leaves on the branches are all brown and crunchy. I picked up an acorn on the ground. Can you believe that this tiny little guy is going to grow up into an enormous tree like this? that we saw on my scavenger hunt today. I saw a beautiful spider web, which was really cool to look at up close. I also heard a lot of rustling leaves. What did you find in your scavenger hunt? Well, that wraps up our scavenger hunt. There were a couple of things on my scavenger hunt I couldn't find today, but I'm excited to see if some of you find them in your neighborhood. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you all soon.